What is going on everybody? This is Jason with Suburban Adventures back with another video. Today we are going to review this fishing backpack, the Guggen Squad backpack. So let's just jump right into it. If you remember on the last video I talked about choosing a backpack versus a tackle box. And um, I said you don't have to necessarily get a dedicated backpack. This is an actual, you know, supposedly a fishing backpack. Um, so I'm just going to go through and review it and talk about it. My son Tucker actually got this for Christmas. And uh, so I'm just going to give you a little overview of it and tell you what I think about it. So first off, as far as size goes, it is the same size as any average backpack. Um, in the last video, I had it side by side with just a regular um, Adidas backpack. Um, but one of the things that I do like about this is it's got all sorts of storage. Um, it's got um, these two zipper side pockets. There's one there. There's one there, which is handy, you know, for putting whatever you want. It's got these two side mesh pockets, which is great. You put your water bottle in there, whatever you need to. Um, and then there's one over here, too. And then on the front, this is a neat little feature. This mesh here is actually rubber, um, so that would be handy. You could put some um, whatever you need to in there, and then it's got some little things that you could slide I guess lures or who knows what um, so that is sort of just a walk around the outside I'll try it on in a few minutes tell you how it feels so um, so then it's got this front pocket here uh, that unzips completely down which is great so you could store some really anything you could even store some of those trays that I was showing you in the last video um, so that's nice, zips all the way down. And then it's got another um, compartments here. These are nice, because these are plastic. So, you know, if this stuff's wet, you could put it in there and not get everything else wet. Let's see, this main part of it, I'm just gonna unzip it here for you. So the other thing I really like about this is the main part of it actually sort of zips and opens in half like this. So it completely zips open and it actually came with these um, tackle holders. It came with two of them. Um, and they're actually really nice. They're better quality than the ones that I bought. Uh, I like them because they kind of got like a cool feature here where you can measure your fish there. Um, so it came with both of these. And then I'll just show you, pop these open. And Tucker's got his lures in there. He likes his frogs, you can tell <laughs> there. <laughs> As I was saying in the last video, if you want to just take an old backpack and, and use it for a fishing backpack, you certainly can, but you'll have to go out and buy these trays. Um, and so it is nice that this backpack actually came with these two trays. And then it's got some more storage here. Um, again, this feature is nice because, again, it looks like mesh, but it's, but it's actually plastic. So if something, again, if something's wet, it's not going to get everything else in your bag wet. Now, uh, I can't really speak to how sturdy it is or how well it's going to hold up because he just got it for Christmas a couple months ago, and I think he's only taken it out once or twice. Um, it does, supposedly, supposed to be at least water resistant, which is another nice feature. As I was telling you that um, my backpack, it, it's going to get wet, but this is supposed to be um, water resistant. It does have, let me see if I can flip it up. On the bottom, it's got those little feet, which is also nice. It does stand up a lot better than mine that I use. Um, and uh, it's got this handle there. Seems pretty sturdy. Let me throw it on and see how it feels on your back. All right, there it is on my back. I mean, I wouldn't say it's super comfortable. There is some nice um, padding on the back of it. That's nice. Uh, but I wouldn't... I mean, it, 
it's like any backpack, I guess. <laughs> the shoulder straps are comfortable. It rides kind of low, like it's hitting me right down here on my um, lower back, um, which could just be how things are stored in there. Uh, but I do, the straps definitely are comfortable, and I do like the padding. You can see this sort of padding there. Um, it does hold its shape a lot better, which is also nice. It's it's sort of reinforced with this plastic on the inside, um, which mine does not. <laughs> so that is it is nice. All in all, I love how much it, is, it holds. The zippers seem really sturdy. Um, the stitching seems really sturdy. Um, and supposedly each one is like you know handmade or whatever. I don't know about that, but. Um, I can check back after we've used it all summer and sort of see how it's held up. The black, green, and white is the only color that you're getting this in. Uh, that's sort of the Guggen Squad color. There's their logo there, Guggen Squad. Um, if you're not familiar with Guggen Squad, there's a lot of people feel strongly either way about Guggen Squad. It's basically... Um, they're a group of guys that do YouTube videos, fishing videos, and it's sort of a very polarizing. People either love them or hate them. One thing is for sure is, is that the younger kids really do like the Guggen Squad stuff. I, whatever, I'm, I'm sort of both ways with it. Um, I like some of their lures, some of them, eh, I'm so-so on. Now, let's talk price. This is currently selling at Dick's Sporting Goods for $120, which is very steep, I would say. I will admit that this is very steep. Right before Christmas time, they were running deals on these, and you can get them for like $70. So I think that for $70, I think that's not a bad deal. There's other companies that make these fishing backpacks um, that are probably a little bit cheaper. Um, but for everything that you get with the trays, which could run you anywhere from eight to ten dollars, and uh, you know it seems to be very well built, I would say that I think I, you know sixty to seventy is reasonable. I'm not sure if I would say it's worth a hundred and twenty. So all in all, you know you'll probably see us this summer with Tucker on this on a, this on his back. Uh, he switched from a tackle box. To a backpack just for the sort of the flexibility of being able to have both hands free and so we'll see how it holds up so feel free to comment down below if you have had one of these for a while how it's worked out for you and uh or if you have any you know follow-up questions about it anything that i forgot to cover okay guys well i apologize for the leaf blower in the background there that's part of living in the suburbs it's a suburban adventure <laughs> so I uh, hope you enjoyed this, found it helpful. I would recommend this if you can find it on sale. I think it, it's going to work out perfectly. With that being said, I am not going to say that you have to go out and get a dedicated fishing backpack. I think you could just convert an old backpack and use it for fishing. And I'm also going to say that I think you could probably find one maybe a little bit cheaper in the $50 range. It's not Guggen Squad. Part of it is you're paying for <laughs> the Guggen Squad. Um, but like I said, my son got this as a Christmas gift. So let me know if there's any other um, gear that you would like me to review. You can go ahead and click like down there. That would be helpful. Give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, you can subscribe there. You can check out more videos there. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.